We have some big changes coming to credit cards near you. Cue the fire. And we have charts that I'm going to show you. They look like this. Complete bombshells that are going off. And if these charts don't frighten you, or actually what the charts have to say in the future, because we are just at that divergence. It's kind of like when, you have, when you're trading, you have a convergence, divergence. Well, we have hit that, and you're gonna need to make some changes just like we always do. When you see something, like when I go to the doctor and he's like, wow, 190 over another high number, I think you need to do something about it or you're going to die. And like with all things, I come Johnny Bravo bearing solutions. And the solutions that I have will help protect you from people like this, uh, people like this and uh, people like this. Remember that guy? Yeah, these are not not people that are going to help you. This guy right here, his last name's Bernanke. He had a helicopter and he used to deliver like Santa Claus money in, into, your, uh, into your chimneys. But these guys have all worked together in a system that has systematically and will systematically wipe out the middle class leaving basically just extremely poor and extremely rich. And I know this is not breaking news, but that's what I do on this channel. So if you want to subscribe, it's a little button down there. I can't push it on my side. Otherwise, I would subscribe to you. It's these people right here that uh, are the troublemakers, which make you go, you know what? I think we need, uh, we need to tighten the belt, right? Why? You should be fine. It should be everything should be great it's just money you have a job well the one over there is trying to make sure that you don't have a job and you shouldn't have to tighten the belt you shouldn't have to go get another job your kids shouldn't have to go get another job i mean it's just like one big fluster cluck and coming in from jeffrey tucker i like those i like those shades bro an economic candle burning from both ends and as the article starts off i like this Consider your own household and portfolios. How do they measure up? How are they doing? I'm, I'm assuming you'll put a check mark in the not so good box. How do I know this? Because over the last 19 months, your disposable income has poof, gone away. And now it's Black Friday. So now everyone's getting out there and spending the money that they probably don't have. And right now, Americans have lost one, two, three years of financial progress. Why? Because they thought that giving you just money is going to solve the problem. It doesn't. Just ask any kid that, I know I've raised six. You give them money, they come back and they're like, I need more. Same thing with my wife. And I say, hey, I have a solution. Why don't you go get a job? They say, but it's easier, dad, if I just ask you. Savings. Now, this is what I want to look at. This is very un-Keynesian. Uh, hit a new low of 3.2% where it stood just after the 2008 financial crisis. Let me say this again. This, where we are at in our savings is when it got really bad. So we are currently not even at the bad stage. We're like 1929. Everything's fine, right? You start to see it roll over and you're like, well, this could be bad. Let me tell you, the rollover you're going to want to buckle up. Or you're going to want to have a parachute and then make sure you bring two depends, one for you and one for your friend. This is what I need you to look at in the red, in the red corner, the, the red bar, that is your personal savings rate. Okay. It, it, hold on. We'll get there. I'll, I'll keep a poll in. The blue bar is consumer loans. That's your credit cards. That's your revolving credit. Now let me come down here. Now, what I, what I always like to say is, um, well, the trend is your friend until the end. And if you look at these two, you have a little divergence right there. Just happened a year ago. And now I want to, I, I want you to think for a second here. I'm going to chart this for you. I'm just, we'll just, we'll just keep it going because I don't see, do you see an end in sight with uh, what's going on in credit cards? No, I see it getting worse. Plus your interest rates that, that you're having to pay. Let me give you a little, let's fix, uh, let's fix the red one here because uh, here was your divergence right there. Okay, we're going to go this way. See, with no end in sight, what is going to solve this? Well, let me offer you a solution to what will solve this. Get in a time machine, go back to 2007, go back to 2008. Tell that one guy that I circled his head, Bernanke, tell him no. Take his hand and go, no, go, go away. 
Same thing that just happened a, a year and a half, two years ago, with all the stimulus, with all the bad things after the lockdown, you know, during the lockdown, all, all of that, the, the, the answer should have been no. You need to just let it come. You have to wipe out all of the dead logs or however the analogy goes. Just, just get rid of it. Re reshuffle, let's start again. Nope, we keep kicking the can. We've done this again since that guy with the circle, uh, Bernanke, back in 2008, where he basically just broke the whole system. You got now the, so the severe QE, QT, QE, QT. But this one is going to look like the Great Depression. Again, depends. Money, credit, and capital are draining from long-term investments also known as drying up, also known as QT. And this is globally, the entire world, looking at China. China has rolled over like no other. Their economy is kaput, gone. And they're actually doing more lockdowns right now. I think that's a great idea. Why? Because one person gets the cold and let's just, it's never going to go away. The cold's not going to go away. But but dang it, they're going to make sure that everyone gets locked down and, the, and the, people are mad. I showed you in a video yesterday, which got one of the, the lowest view counts I've had in probably two years. And I said it would, but whatever. I'm, I, I come here bearing the, the truth, even though I get punished for it. But that's probably why maybe you will like this video, but even that might help me. So I, I appreciate it. Maybe we can recover that one. Drying up the venture capitalist. Yeah, because money's expensive. I'm not going to give you money. My, my money, I thought long and hard. I, I studied. I researched. I know how cycles work. I understand when the Fed pivots and all this. I know what happens before, what happens after. And I'm telling you, after the Fed pivots, you're not going to like it. The market's actually going to go down. Go into the charts or my videos. I've showed you. But putting a tight credit squeeze on large businesses, which they just wiped out half of them during the lockdowns, that was by design, uh, where firings in the professional sector have already begun. So we have just started. And we got that little pesky thing over there, inflation. How was your Thanksgiving? Great. It was probably a whole lot more money this time than it was last time. How about your Christmas shopping now? I am assuming it's going to be a lot more money this time than it was last time. So I will help you with fixing it. But it will take you having to learn about these lines. I, that's my, I have, again, two solutions. And one of them isn't tightening the belt. Although savings is important. That, that's good. You have savings for a rainy day. I, I understand. But you've already chewed through that. So I'm sorry that, that this is this is all I got for you is start businesses or learn a, a trait and then again, start a business. And then over years, it takes years, just like losing weight. You just didn't put on the weight all of a sudden. If it takes you two years to put it on, give your at least two years to take it off. Same thing that goes for cycles. And that's why I sold my house. I'm like, well, I think this inverted yield curve, babe, over the next year, we're going to have to sell the house. We sold the house sold it for about almost a million dollars, moved to Texas, was which is a little bit more friendly on taxes. You see, I, you have to make changes. Those are huge changes. I have six kids, crazy. Lowering blood pressure, doing all the things that you have to do. I know it's painful, it's tight, but I'm warning you, what, you, what it is now is going to be worse. And I've said this for the last 24 months. I said the next year is gonna be worse, and it has been. 2023 is going to be worse than 2022. So make sure you're A, at least learning about starting businesses, and then B, at least paper trading equities. And I don't care what you start with. I know uh, TradeStation down, you can connect it right down there where it says paper trading here. You connect TradeStation, they give you 150 bucks. Yes, you do need to fund your account with 500. So if you're not there yet, okay, try to get there. But I'll leave a link in the description on that one. One of the trades that I put into my watch list, this is in my bull market watch list, which is slim pickings nowadays with, with the bull market. It's easier to trade in a, well, if we're in a bear market, here, here's a million. And it's as easy as this. Yes, there is times that it dips and you're like, huh, what should I do? No, just stick with the plan. Jim, see, see the white line, you're above it. You write it. What, let's say you took that, what, what do they give you, 150 bucks? I sorry, but you just keep building it right there. That's one candle close above, you're up almost 14%. Now, did it get scary in there, huh, Brian? Yeah, it did, right there. But did the candle fall below? I don't know. 
let's put on the candle and see if it fell below and cl closed one full candle below the Bravo 9? The answer is no. And I know these seem like just a lot of bunts that you have to take, but that's what you have to do in life. That's why I swing trade. Let's see the last one. You wrote it, wrote it, wrote it. Same thing. What was this? Well, so your 150 bucks now is, what are you at? Another 15, 16%. Oh, but there was a challenging day back in, uh, what was this? Uh, August 22nd, August 23rd, but those were green candles below the Bravo 9. It's okay, keep the trade open. A solid red one with the wick under it, you close it. I mean, just right there on the last two swings, that's uh, 15 and 15. What, what, do we, what do we got? 30. And then you do this thing called compound interest. That's what Albert Einstein said is the greatest invention known to mankind. I'm kind of chewing up his words a little bit, but I'm giving you the basics of what he is saying. That is bigger than the light bulb. This that I am showing you is ginormous. So maybe this is a good like New Year's resolution or I don't know, Thanksgiving, New Black Friday. Oh, Black Friday, 50%. No, wait, no, 80% off of both of my courses. So if you wanna learn bear market, how to trade it, grab it today, it's gone. It's Black Friday, this is it. You have minutes left. Uh, or my swing trade, because I, I was just gonna do my swing trade and you're like, wait, I didn't know you were, you rose the price on the on the bear. Yeah, it's like 200 bucks or 199. You have to be cuckoo if you do not take advantage, of it. especially if you've went through school for your whole life, you have a doctorate or a master's degree, Come on, this isn't even the price of a textbook and you can actually use this in your life. This was my Tesla trade that I put in the in the course, the exact. I said, this is where I'm taking out a short. Short it, I made money here, then I made money there. And then it came down, we had a uh, we had a pennant or a flag, bear flag, took another one out. I don't know if I did on that one. That, that's a questionable one, not not too sure. But I completely, I, I nope, I lied. I'm lying to you right now. I exited 100% because I wanted to be done with Tesla. But you, I said, if you want, Keep going. So while it's really bad going down, you're taking advantage of it. When it's really good going up, you're taking advantage of it. I'm trying to play both sides for you because I don't know how long this bear market might be. Might be It might be 30 years. Well, I mean, we're gonna have bear market rips, so take advantage of those too. Just like going back to this article, what is unfolding before your eyes, my eyes, is a confirmation of a business cycle theory published in the 1920s and the 1930s. And these two cats right here, you got Ludwig and Hayek. Uh, th th you have Keynesian and then you have the, the Austrian. I am of the, for the most part, the Austrian camp. The, the Keynesian, not so much. Th that's an evil, I mean, just to, just to think here, let me show you. So this is money, okay? This is silver of limited supply. Silver, this is money, it's in, in the constitution. Same thing with gold. This is a sheet of paper. This is of unlimited supply, okay? Also, what's even worse than this is when you're like, okay, we're gonna, this is kind of how they do it. They went with, this is money, then they tricked the people, and then they said, this is money. They used to take this money, and they used to carve away parts of the silver and just put junk metal in there. And so it was, that's that's what they would do. It, it basically, well, they would debase their currency. That's when they put other uh, metals, like I said, this made financing of the pet projects of Emperor challenging, where you'd have silver, uh, and then you'd start using other things. So then it'd be 90% silver, 50% silver, and you just continually debase until poof, gone. And then you tell the people that this is money, which poof, gone, you have nothing. It's a sheet of paper. I couldn't, like teaching this in the schools, I'd bring in actual gold, silver, and a hundred dollar bill or whatever, and I'd offer a kid or 20 bucks, which one do you want? And it's like, oh man, I'll take the money. I'm like, well, which one's that? They're like, well, yeah, I'll take the 20 bucks over the gold. I'm like, well, okay. Anyone want to Google this one? Congratulations, Skylar. You just walked away with 20 bucks, but you could have walked away with a hell of a lot more if your parents would have taught you what money is and where it comes from, which right now, 98% of money comes from nothing. And people just are like, what are you talking about? Yep, it's just debt. You walk into a bank and you say, I want a loan. Take a look at the chart that I just showed you. See that divergence? It doesn't exist. It's nothing that has to pay back, be paid back with interest. And how are you gonna do that? You're gonna have to work more. And that is exactly what is happening today. This has been going on since the beginning of, well, the Roman Empire. The so-called, well, so we have Austrian theory observes distortions in the production structure that result from the central bank, eh? Attempts to suppress interest rates, eh? Which is exactly what the Fed has done. 
and it's going to flip. And so we go into, right, the tightening, loosening cycles. You can do that all the way down. It's almost like dieting. Well, I'm just gonna cut my calories, right? You start off at 3,000 and then at the end of the day, you're like, or at the end of a year, you're like, oh, I only eat 100 calories a day and I can't seem to lose any weight. Yes, sorry, it, it works until it doesn't. Meanwhile, Washington is still dreaming of new ideas to kill our economic prospects, which government wants to kill your economic prospects. That's why everyone was locked down forever. That's why China is. They want you depending on them. That's it. It's like, it's, it, it's a bad game and it does not end well. And I don't want to care about, oh, my government. It's the government you need to fear, not, not, not the people. And if you're living in America, it's also America that you have to fear, not, not the people outside of America. That's what our founding fathers warned you about. You know, they said, if anything happens, it's going to come from within, which it is. Anyways, these include zero carbon dilutions that would literally reverse the industrial revolution. They know this. So they take something that seems a little right. You know, okay, that's a, you know, that's a good idea. So you take something that that could be, you know, safety or a good idea, even though they know it's going to destroy everything and put the power back into their hands and they literally push that down your throat and control you. You just witnessed that over the last couple of years. So literally reverse industrial revolution. That's what they are doing. That's what the elites plan on doing. I just did a video about it yesterday. Didn't do too well. Uh, so from monetary to surveillance to control. That's it. And if they can control this, they can control you, which they're going to do, which is hard to control paper because we don't know where it goes. They, 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 they know that they got to get rid of this. So in your life, you will no longer have sheets of paper that you call money, which wouldn't be money anyways. But anywho, a monetary reform that would bake surveillance into every transaction. You want to buy gas? Well, they'll know about it and they will limit the supply of it or tell you, you know, you've reached a max and then they, they cut you off. And if you want to buy something that doesn't fit into their category with a flip of a switch, they can tax you tax to transfer, uh, to transfer resources from us to them. Yep. Oh, you wanted to buy that? No, that's at a higher tax rate. They can change it up and down and they'll say, oh, we have fixed inflation. We fixed deflation. Just leave us in control of the levers. Now you're getting the big picture. Those two lines converging and diverging, they're not coming back until the government's like, here you go. Here's, oh, oh wow, I have a timer on. Hmm. Oh, Black Friday. Eesh, that better grab it. Now I lost, sorry, that, that to me is a squirrel. I don't know <laughs> to you. But yeah, so I don't, you guys, there's my solutions. Please stop. The, the, the debt, I don't know how you're gonna stop it, but I'm trying to help you. Well, well in 22 seconds, I, I, my life's running out, but so I guess that's all I have. Oh, enjoy Black Friday and uh, enjoy this weekend even more. And I will see you tomorrow.